Hi there, Halu here. Hello, it is February 26th, around 2 p.m. I am actually headed to get some uh, fillings done for my teeth. Today was the start of my, I guess, return of my uh, agency work, and I am back. But that is just for Mondays, so Monday I will be doing the work I used to do, which is good. I mean, any sort of way that I can find additional income and just kind of work towards it, stuff that I already know how to do, stuff that I'm good at, I'm always going to choose that because I am at a place where I want to continue building wealth. And being in this environment, putting myself in place of these jobs is exactly what I want to be doing. Yeah, today's been good. I've put in about five hours already. Woke up around eight o'clock. Just flowing naturally as it, as it used to be. I hear sirens, but I don't know where they are. But yeah, gonna go get my teeth filled uh, because yo boy got some uh, holes in his teeth. I guess that's what fillings are, right? Just to fill in those like bad portions where the gum has been erased. I'm gonna go do that, then come back home and continue working on my agency work. In addition to that, I've been talking to the guy who is offering me 0% interest on business credit cards and using that to liquidate cash assets to do the investment in the, the day trading program. And it's super high risk. It is extremely super high risk. If I don't do things correctly, if I don't make it work for me, I'm probably going to be in a hole of debt. But I want to be the person who does take risk on these things. I want to be the person that will make a jump and make high risk and reap high rewards because I'm a little tired of playing it safe. Playing it safe is just making things like happen way too slow for me. If I want to supplement an income that allows me to just enjoy my time being an artist, then I need to do something drastic. And with the backing from close friends, the mentor being someone that is a friend of that friend and has shown many, many successful results of his uh, ability, then it really kind of allows me to have a little bit more trust in this and kind of continue or like proceed with doing this. But it is scary. It is very scary nonetheless. It's really up to my own capacity for risk, but I do want to be a person that takes risks and can reap in like high rewards. So I'm still thinking about it. It's still in my head. If the trading program doesn't work out, I can continue to use these um, business cards to actually start doing things that I would like to do, such as maybe like 3D printing or any other kind of like endeavors that I might have an idea for. But really, I just need to start doing something that isn't a day-to-day -day job because it is one, not very fulfilling, and two, takes up so much time in my day. Um, and really, I just want to create and not be tired anymore. I just want to have a good life where I can make things and be fulfilled. Not that I'm not fulfilled right now, but I just need things to be a little faster. Time is being wasted for not much compensation and I need to be in a place where I can continue practicing and getting better at my craft because that is what I want to do at the end of the day. And um, yeah. Uh, We'll see what I do, but that's what I'm dealing with. For dinner, my mom fried to perfection some pork belly. After dinner, I finally caught up with editing the vlog before Hawaii. Why do I look so mean whenever I'm focused? Good morning, today is Tuesday, February 27th. I am headed to work. I could not, for the life of me, get up this morning. I had a long day yesterday, worked for about eight and a half hours, chilled for just like an hour shortly, and then I was working on my vlog the entire night. Man, by the time I reached 10 p.m., I was just like, I'm done. I don't want to do anything else anymore. And so, even though I was trying to finish the vlog, I'm like two, three vlogs behind, I could not stay up to complete that. 
but it's okay. I think I will finish it by the end of today. Hopefully once I get off work, I can just hop on and just finish the rest of that. And that'll make me feel good. But as for 3D work, no time for it per usual. Just, it's hard. It's, it's hard to get up in the morning after you haven't been doing it for a while and then just try to jump back into that schedule. And trying to sleep early, it's, 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 it's difficult to do, but um, you know, I'm not gonna punish myself for it because I obviously need the sleep to be able to function at my nine to five. But man, I'm just like dreading waking up and going to work. I mean, the work itself isn't too bad, but I'm just like so fed up that we don't have enough time in our day. We don't have enough time to do the things we wanna do in the day because we're trying to survive and we're trying to like take care of ourselves and everybody else around us. And it's like, man, when do I have time for myself? But all good, all good. Once I finish the vlog today, and I will, because there's not much left, I just need to like proofread it and like take my time and enjoy it because if I rush things, it's not gonna be good anyways. Once I finish the vlog today, I should feel better about myself and you know, accomplishing one thing at a time is, is all I could really do. But as for now, gotta get to work. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at lunch. The time is now 1 p.m. and it is absolutely lunchtime. I brought yesterday's leftovers with some broccoli. So I got the, I don't even know if it's pork belly. I'm pretty sure it's like a pork loin. And my mom just fries it into crispiness, but there's a lot of fat meat into it. Work has been chill, not too demanding, uh, pretty easy of a day. Um, and I'm feeling awake, I'm feeling like I have some energy. I'm actually glad that I slept and I really needed it. Cause if I got up at five and just did 3D, I probably would have just ended 30 minutes early and went back to bed. But I'm feeling awake and hopefully I can maintain this energy until the end of work, utilize the last of it and just finish the vlog. Cause I need to start finishing these projects ASAP. So I can carry on to some other things and anything else that's incoming. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna have my lunch and hopefully get to uh, working later. Fast forward to dinner. My mom fried a fish with some green onions. We also had mabo tofu and everyone's favorite, sin choy. Then I got to editing the vlog and got it uploaded. Yes, I'm finally done with it. Go watch it if you're just watching this right now. Go watch it. I also got a new TV. Look at how big it is. So big. Also this. Finally, cross this shit off my list. Sorry about the 3D work, but you know, I'll get to it soon. Today has been MFing chaotic. Gosh, everyone is requiring something of me, man. Like, I ain't got no time to breathe. I got Justin here, Justin there, Justin here, Justin there, like, ah! But it's okay, I handled it all, obviously. But today, I have for lunch, some mabo tofu from yesterday, and some sin choy, and I also threw an egg on there because uh, I don't think that was gonna be enough for me to eat. Um, but yeah, today's been busy, and I just had to talk to my other employer for our weekly like catch up. Everything's going good, just a busy day. I didn't wake up again this morning, I could not. It was freezing cold, and my bed was like, I'm warmer, stay in me, stay in me. And I was like, yes, yes I will. And I was just like, ah, but I'm skipping another day of getting up early. But also, I finished the vlog of February 5th to 11th. So go and watch that if you haven't already. It's about 30 minutes long. It takes a long time to edit these vlogs, especially if they're weekly recaps of my week. Slept late last night to get that out. Could not wake up this morning, but that's okay. That's okay. We try again tomorrow. But yeah, uh, after work tonight, I'm probably gonna go ahead and go home and start organizing and putting together the next or two weeks ago's vlog um, hopefully get that out by Monday if not sooner and then work on last week's so I'm playing catch-up right now yeah we're just gonna try to do as much as we possibly can without burning out that is the goal until then I am going to eat my lunch so talk to you guys later. for dinner my mom roasted an entire chicken which was used as protein for spring rolls 
I know chicken and spring rolls is kinda weird, but it actually wasn't too bad. The spring rolls I wrap are always way too big to be contained because I jam pack it with so many ingredients. Hi there, it is now 1 p.m. on this gloomy Thursday, February 29th. One leap year out of four years. Today I have for lunch some leftovers from yesterday, some chicken thighs, and peas with rice, no wraps, no spring rolls. Today has been pretty good, honestly. I woke up early at five o'clock. I went straight to the restroom, got ready, and sat at my computer and started modeling. I feel that when you do the things that you promise yourself to do, you just feel way better throughout your entire day. The truth is, the past two days when I haven't been doing what I promised to myself, it really kind of sucked. <laughs> Not that my day was shitty, but I just didn't, I just wasn't in like the best mood or as good of a mood as I am in today. Got up early, did my 3D modeling, got ready for work, headed out, and everything just kind of flowed so much more smoothly. Like everything was kind of slow and in the right place when it needed to be. Like work was just a breeze. I was doing my work obviously, but also playing a new game that just came out on mobile, Ragnarok Origins. It's an MMORPG, but since it is mobile, a lot of it is like automatic. You just click on the quest and it takes you directly there. And just having fun with that too, uh, along with like doing my work. Today has been a A-OK -okay day. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, Hope it continues to be that way. I'm gonna eat my lunch, so I will talk to you guys. La Tour, peace. My family and I have been eating way too much meat as lately. So to cut back, we opted for a salad, salmon, and eggs and tomato, a signature Hong Kong dish. Once I finished dinner, I quickly scurried to work on the start of my Hawaii vlogs. Hey girl. <laughs> It's okay, girl. I'm be your These took so long to complete, but they were worth every minute putting together. If you haven't seen those yet, be sure to check them out. It was a lot of fun to have, and I'm happy to be able to share it with you all. Good morning. It is Friday, March 1st, start of the month. I just finished with my morning gym session. I woke up at like 2 a.m. this morning and I just felt like super sore on like the back left side area. And man, it was just like crazy sore, but I actually have been feeling a little like tightness back there anyways. Um, but once I went back to sleep, I woke up and it was like a little bit better. Um, but yeah, after my gym session, I went to the massage room, massaged myself with the Theragun for a little bit, and now I am feeling loosey-goosey. I had a little difficulty waking up. I woke up and it was warm and I just didn't want to get out of bed. I was super groggy, but I did sleep around like 9 p.m. last night, which is great. So I'm feeling very much awake, like I have a lot of energy, ready to tackle the day. Not much going on for the rest of the day. I just have work. I'll probably come home, work on the vlog a little bit, and then also just try to go to bed early again. What I need to remind myself is that when I wake up early, and despite being tired, I'm actually able to go to bed a lot earlier at night, and so I just need to like keep the momentum back up again because after not doing it for so long, having a gap from like last Saturday to like yesterday's Thursday, it's it's a little bit more difficult to wake up early when you haven't been doing it so often. I just gotta keep up the like momentum of getting up early, sleeping early, keeping my body warm and energized and keeping my mind working by working on 3D in the morning. I just gotta like get back on the grind and you know, it's a lot easier to relax and rest at night when I have been doing so, as opposed to sleeping late, doing whatever I want without really any schedule to go on. So usually I'll listen to podcasts or like listen to instructional video or some sort um, that is maybe like 30 minutes to an hour long. But today I was listening to, I was watching some uh, Asmund Gold because 
his newer videos tend to be a little bit longer from anywhere like 40 to like an hour um, and it's just talking about like stuff that's happening in the games industry and when I don't have enough time to be playing games it's nice to be able to live and kind of uh, um, be in it uh, vicariously uh, it's not so much watching gameplay but my 7 a.m. alarm disrupted my video anyways what I was saying was um, I was just watching Asmund Gold and he's talking about like a lot of the video game industry stuff and it kind of allows me to have a better mindset when I do eventually make games that it is all about the gameplay experience. It is all about making something of value. It is all about providing the consumer, the player, the gamer an actual great immersive fun experience that should be uh, what they expect when purchasing a game because there are just so many AAA companies at this time that are not producing quality games and putting millions of dollars into it, producing some crap, and then nobody wants to play it, but they still have microtransactions that make you want to pay more. And it's like, nobody wants to play that. People want to play a game that is fun, cooperative, that is enjoyable, that, that really allows you to have fun you're experiencing it and there's just so many games that aren't doing that for most people these days just watching a little bit of that and then I also watched the video where he like checked out this guy this team actually that is doing an RPG within Valheim now I used to play Valheim back when they first launched and I have joined two servers with different groups of friends and it was a really fun game but seeing how just indie developers are able to manipulate and create systems within the vanilla open world aspect is like super impressive it kind of makes me get very excited about game development that's that's pretty much the content that i like consumed this morning at the gym but otherwise gym was fine i'm gonna go home get ready for work and start my day look at this shadow it's so ugly As usual, on Friday, we go out to eat. Today we had Thai food, and I was craving for a mean Pad Ki Mao, aka drunken noodles with beef. It was so good. I'm pretty sure I was ultra slumped after this. Once I got home, my parents had went out for dinner and got me some leftovers. I love eating Hong Kong cafe styled food. It really never misses. I decided to take a break from editing every night and played some games with my friend. We played this old game we used to enjoy nonstop called Cuisine Royale. Well, now it's called Cursed Fode, which I have no idea what it means. But they brought back the OG mode when it was just a good World War II styled battle royale with pots and pans for your armor. Oh, and I also had Ragnarok Origins in the background while I min maxed between games. You ran him over nice. Yeah. Nice, loot him free. Hurry. Oh. Are you? Yeah. He's shying. He's shying. Oh, oh. <laughs> Where are you? Oh. Good morning. It is Saturday, March 2nd, 2024. And once again, I did not get up today. I'm really getting to a point where my 9 to 5 is just really digging into my emotional and physical state. It's not even taxing. It's, it's so easy to do. It's not that hard to be there. It's just taking so much of my time that by the end of the day, I don't even feel like doing anything. And it sucks because all I want to do is kind of just game. And those nights that I game, I end up sleeping a little later. So yesterday, I was supposed to sleep at like 8.30, but I didn't sleep until a little past 11. And I woke up to my 4.30 alarm, but I just decided to stay in. One, it was raining, and I was a little FOMO that all my coworkers could sleep while it was raining. And I also really wanted to do that, so I did that, and it was nice. I'm like fully awake now. But then, I wake up feeling like I haven't accomplished anything today. It's another sort of like push and pull situation. I could either get more sleep, get more energy for the day of work, or I could sacrifice some sleep and work on the things I want to work on. 
but it's like, how am I gonna work on the things I wanna work on if I'm tired? Anyways, I don't know. I'm just getting to a point where this nine to five is like taking more of my time than I want to. And I feel like that's been the case for a lot of these jobs I've had over the past 10 years. Just, I work, I work, I still don't have enough money, and uh, I don't have enough time for myself, or when I have too much time for myself, I don't do the things I wanna do. It's hard, it's hard to figure out and like stick to one thing for me because there's just so many things you need to juggle and balance, and I don't understand how some people can just like, go to work every day and then do whatever they want like like hang out watch movies go out with friends uh, go on social media play games and not feel like they aren't doing enough I, I can't relate to those people because I always feel like I'm not doing enough and I don't think I can ever stop feeling that way I'm going to work and it's not like I feel like oh, I have to go to work it's more so like, oh, I didn't do those things that I wanted to do before I went to work because I was so tired from having to go to work. I need to figure out something that lets me, like, stay afloat while still being able to do things I want to do. And that's the hardest part of life, I think, is just doing what you want to do without having to sacrifice your time, your money, for things that you don't want to spend it on. I think this is like a coming to age sort of a question, right? The ideal life is to be able to do what you love every day and make a living out of it, but I don't know. I, I, I truly don't know how to do that. I don't have really a mentor or guidance from anywhere. It's, um, it's hard, it's a, it's a hard situation. It's a hard pill to swallow. But, yeah, going to work. I will be getting off earlier than usual today, and, you know, maybe I could squeeze in some, like, 3D time or something. We'll see what I end up doing. There's a lot of cuts in this video, because I really don't have the words today. Well, there's one start to my day. My coworker got me an Egg McMuffin. Oh, and a hash brown? Oh my god, she's so sweet. Sweet! Despite my little rant of frustration, it was a pretty nice morning. Holy crap, it is pouring outside. Well, at least it was. It was like no rain at all. And then all of a sudden, just a Like someone turned on the shower. <laughs> Anyways, today I have some food that was from a patient to my coworker. My coworker was helping out the patient and the patient just really, really, really was insistent on providing food for my coworker. Not entirely sure why, but she was super adamant about it because uh, she was being helped out. Anyways, my coworker didn't want it and then gave it to me. So I just opened it up for the first time today, even though she got it yesterday. But it's pretty much pho. Hell yeah, that's a score for me. So, I'm gonna be enjoying some nice pho on this rainy lunch day. The work's been chill, just doing my thing, enjoying my time, and uh, playing some games in the meantime as well. I'm getting frustrated with the game because I keep dying, and it's not fun, and like, I'm trying to work at the same time, and it's just not working out, so. I think I'm gonna finish my work and then start playing more because I cannot do both at the same time. It's just, just not working out. Anyways, gonna go enjoy my food. Talk to you guys later. After work, I went to the Cairo's office to get my legs ripped apart from my torso. It helps with decompressing my spine after many years of sitting down for too much. I feel like a new man afterwards. And lastly for dinner was some steamed then stir fried veggies, fried fish, and scallops. Sunday was a day that I could finally relax and get to some cleaning I've been meaning to do. I started with putting my clothes in the washer. My mom brought me back a banh mi, probably my favorite food to have on a day off, or any day really, with a side of Vietnamese coffee. Creamy liver pate goodness. I then decided to completely clean my drawer, 
desk stand table thingy in the back. It's been building up dust and the wires really bothered me. So I unplugged everything, wiped down my windows, swept and mopped the floors, then rerouted everything. Despite today being a day I would edit vlogs, this was a very much needed cathartic cleaning session and it felt so good to do it. Then I was off to get my facial. So I just got back from my facial. As you can see, I'm swelling a little bit more. But my facialist said, or esthetician said that my skin is actually pretty good around this time. Usually I'll get like big pimples or like a lot of blackheads, but not too much as of lately. And I think it's because I haven't been putting anything on, including like toner, snail mucin, uh, moisturizer, sunblock, nothing, and just double cleansing all the time. Yeah. For dinner, I had some hot pot, which sat nicely on a rainy Sunday evening. Thank you all so much for watching, and hollow at you later.